Let's take a look at the Tuesday edition of The Note. ABC's Sunland Miller is in Washington and joins me now with details. How are you, Sunland? Hi, good, Meg. How are you? Fine, thanks. So what is the president's goal for this particular town meeting in New Hampshire today? Well, this is President Obama's first trip back to New Hampshire since becoming president. And today he'll talk about the economy and how it relates to health care. Of course, as you know, in that setup piece by John Berman, these health care town halls have become a little rowdy. This is his first town hall on health care since that, those outbursts across the nation. So, of course, his message might not be as important about what we see from the audience in, during the Q&A session. So certainly all eyes will be on that and how the interaction is with audience members. Now, White House aides Meg say that President Obama certainly welcomes in the, this and they expect it will be a vigorous debate, but they say that President Obama doesn't believe someone out uh, screaming or having a random outburst is really productive to the debate. He welcomes other points of view, but certainly he wants it to be uh, a con not so much of a contentious um, exchange as they have been across the nation. Now, Senator, let's talk about the president's message. I, I take it there's some plane taking off or something. He had previously been focused on cutting overall health spending. Now he plans to stress ways they'll fix certain areas. Fill us in on all of that. Well, we don't expect today, Meg, for there to be any new policy announcements or any uh, specifics about the health care plan. As you know, that Congress is out for August recess, so all these congressmen and women are across the country. They'll be pushing for the plan, but really there isn't a specific th uh, legislation that's going to be written up. We saw President Obama in Mexico over the weekend saying once they reach the fall, they can talk about specific measures um, and people can have a substantive conversation about the specifics in the legislation, but he'll talk about you know the overall health of the economy and how that relates to health care. And he is going to head out west. There are more town hall meetings scheduled. Where does he go next? Well, President Obama this weekend will head out west. Um, he'll, be folk he'll be traveling with his family. It's a little family vacation of sorts. They'll be traveling to the Grand Canyon in Yellowstone. They'll be celebrating the free National Park weekend this weekend. So likely no health care on the agenda this week. But White House aides said to expect a couple more town halls before President Obama and his family go on another vacation to Martha's Vineyard later in the month. So certainly they're trying to... Um, control the dialogue a little bit in the last uh, weeks in August as um, those congressmen and women are headed out into their districts. Okay, and let's shift gears to the president's trip to Mexico. You were there. Can you give us an overall wrap-up of the, the Three Amigos Summit, as it was called? Well, the Three Amigos Summit was very cordial. We would not expect anything otherwise. Um, president Obama, of course, sat down with bilateral and trilateral meetings with Prime Minister Stephen Harper of Canada and President Calderon of Mexico. Now, not a lot was decided, Meg, to be honest. Um, they worked on climate change issues, issue of drug cartel, um, cartels, of course, environmental issues and the global economy. But there was not much agreement on the issue of trucking. This was discussed in their meeting and we saw during a press avail on Monday that um, there hasn't been any agreement on how they'll come to a remedy on that situation be between Mexico and the United States. The White House says that this issue has to be worked out in Congress. And finally, Sunland, has there been any comment from the White House on the passing of Eunice Kennedy Shriver? Uh, the White House issued a statement from President Obama and the First Lady Michelle Obama saying that they're deeply saddened by the loss of um, Eunice Kennedy. And you really saw it more uh, as a statement hailing um, Eunice Kennedy's work in the Special Olympics. Um, the president talked about how she was a great pioneer in this respect for people with disabilities. So we expect that the White House, um, this will be the only statement from the White House today, but President Obama will, as you know, travel to New Hampshire. We might possibly get some statement from him. All right, ABC's Sunland Miller, thanks for talking over that leaf blower Thanks. behind you. Maybe you can get him to turn it off next time. <laughs> all right. Don't forget, you can get all your political news as well as the note, Jake Tapper's political punch, and George Stephanopoulos' bottom line, all the politics page of abcnews.com. ABC News Now. Good to know.